The Honourable Member for Calgary Centre. Mr. Speaker, economists agree that payroll taxes, like the increases the government is pushing on Canadians, are the most regressive form of taxation because they lead to lower productivity and jobs leaving Canada. That's not stopping this government from jamming these taxes onto Canadian workers. Inflation is eroding Canadians' ability to buy the basics, and the government is gouging more of their take-home pay. Canadians get to feel the pain of this government's reckless policies at both ends. Well, the government cancelled their planned tax increase on Canadians' paychecks. The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. Actually, Mr. Speaker, what Canadians need is for Conservatives to come clean with them on their plan to eviscerate our pension system. Their scheme is highly irresponsible. And you know who pointed it out this week? Rob Carrick of the Globe and Mail. He wrote, quote, Canada pension plan premiums are not a tax. The CPP is the bedrock of a Canadian retirement plan. The Conservatives want to inter- undermine the pensions all Canadians depend on. We won't let them do that, Mr. Speaker. Exactly. Before, I mean, we started off really well, and uh, suddenly I'm not sure what happened. So, I just, I just, I just want to remind, I want to remind all the members, I want to remind all the members to look at their whips and follow their instructions. The honourable member for Calgary Centre. Well, Mr. Speaker, in the last decade, payroll contributions under this government have risen by 13 per cent for unemployment insurance and over 60 per cent for CPP. And the last year has seen the effects of massive government overspending showing up in inflation numbers Canadians haven't seen in 40 years. Workers' paychecks aren't going as far. Now there will be even less in those paychecks. Given the harsh rise in the cost of living for Canadians, will the minister take heed and cancel the tax increase on Canadians' paychecks. Thank you. The Honourable Mini- the Deputy Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, what I will do is tell Canadians the truth about what is happening with their EI contributions and their pensions. And what is true, Mr. Speaker, is that in 2015, a Canadian who earned $49,500 paid $931 in EI premiums. And you know how much that same Canadian will pay next year? $807. That's $125 less than she paid when the Conservative leader was the Employment Minister. That is supporting hardworking Canadians.